Hey guys, Caleb here with Steve Meyer Service today to talk to you about the Toro Titan 60 inch with the MyRide feature. All right, so first off, let's jump in. We have your orange lever right here. Uh, that is going to allow you to change your seat positioning. So typically they're going to come from the factory in the backmost position, uh, but if you would like to scoot it forwards, what you're going to do is pull that lever in towards the center of the operator and scoot forwards and that will allow you to change your seat positioning. Then as we go over to the side here, this is going to be your height of cut assembly. Uh, they got a really nice and easy, simple to read layout. Uh, so first, in order to change your height of cut, what you need to do is push forwards on your foot pedal right here with your foot. Then that's going to release the pressure off the pin. This is a magnetic pin, so there's no hitch pins or anything that you have to remove. Pull your pin up. We are going to be ranging in height of cuts from one and a half all the way up to four and a half and they're going to go up by the quarter inch increment so once you pull that pin out go ahead and pick your different height of cut that you'd like drop the pin it's going to magnetically stay in there and you're going to release your foot off and that will apply pressure to the pin to also help it stay in place then as we come up to your controls here let's get this out of the way you're going to have your throttle your choke your key switch and your blades you're also going to have an hour meter that way you can monitor your hours for maintenance in order to start the machine, we would suggest full throttle and full choke. Then once your engine starts, go ahead and push that choke down. For blade engagement, best thing we recommend is full throttle. When you're ready to engage the blades at full throttle, pull up on the button. That's going to engage the blades. Uh, reason we suggest full throttle for blade engagement, it's going to get everything moving quicker, um, You know, get everything all up to full speed faster. If you were to engage it at a lower RPMs, that can allow the engine to lug, can allow the belt to flop around, uh, and that could lead to premature belt wear, the belt could stretch out, or it could even knock it off of a pulley. So that's why we suggest full throttle for, for blade engagement. When you're ready, go ahead and push that yellow button down. That's going to shut your blades off. Uh, you can shut this unit down full throttle, half throttle, low throttle. That, that's all a matter of personal opinion. Uh, your battery <clears throat> is conveniently placed under this cover right here. So all you need is a straight slot screwdriver. Take these two, uh, what do you want to call them, quarter turn latches. Uh, turn your screwdriver. That's going to pop this cover off and give you access to your battery. I really like that it's up here in the fender. What's nice is if you like to run uh, a pull behind sprayer, uh, a battery tender, something like that, it's just really easy to access. Now as we go to the back, a big reason why you're probably looking at this model is for the MyRide suspension. So the MyRide is a separate platform that is isolated from the mower. On this particular unit we have the two springs in the rear, there's one spring in the front. The spring in the front stays constant and the two in the back here they are adjustable. So in order to adjust your MyRide, uh, really you want to adjust it based on a couple things yard conditions and operator weight slash operator comfort. So some people are going to like a firmer ride, some people are going to like a softer ride. So in order to adjust it, what you need to do, pull those latches down. Then you can, there's a little knob here on the back, uh, you can go ahead and push that in. The lower the number, the softer the ride. You do want to make sure that your my ride numbers are matching. Right now we got them set on two. Let's say that's the position we want it at. And just turn those latches up, and that is nice and secure. And that's going to adjust your suspension. With as easy as it is to adjust, don't be afraid to uh, you know play with it in your yard a little bit. You can do half increments too, by the way. Instead of three or four, you could do three and a half. Just find what's most comfortable for you, uh, and I think you'll be really happy with it. As we're back here at the engine, we do have your dipstick right here, so you can pull that out. That is going to tell you your oil level. It's also going to act as your oil fill. Then we have your fuel filter right here. We got your oil filter right there. Here is, let me see if I can get a better view. Yep, right there is your spark plug. On the other side, we have the other spark plug. And they conveniently have these cuts so that you can get your, uh, your ratchet with an extension in there and take those spark plugs out. Then we have your oil drain right here. Uh, all you're going to need is two adjustable wrenches. Put one wrench on the brass side, the other wrench on that square cap side. Unthread it all the way and then the oil is going to drain out. Put your plug back in obviously. Fill the oil up at the dipstick and you're good to go. 
Then lastly, we have your air filter right here. You got these latches on the sides. Easily gonna allow you to take that off, get to your air filter. It was pretty nice. This is a compression fitting, so there's no um, you know, hose clamps or anything that's holding this on. They use a compression style, and it's that quick and easy to change. Once we get this back on, put your latches on, and you are good to go. If you want to release the transmissions on this unit so that you can push it, what you need to do is there is a release on both sides. What you need to do is push them in and then all the way down. Once they're in and down, then you need to release the parking brake, which we'll go over here in just a little bit, and uh, that will allow you to push the unit. Once you're done, just make sure you pull these back out. That way, your, unit, your transmissions are re-engaged and you can drive. As we continue to go to the left, we're going to get to the gas tank here. Uh, if you lift up this armrest and you peek down in there, you're going to see that's your fuel level right there. So very conveniently, as you are filling your gas tank, you're going to have a perfect sight picture of the fuel level. Once it gets to the top here, uh, at the full position, go ahead and stop filling. We do not suggest that you top it off. Uh, reason being, they do vent the fuel tank. The vent runs back to the engine. If we were to overfill it, it's actually going to put excess fuel back at the engine and could cause to poor performance. Uh, with the cap, it is a ratcheting cap, which is pretty nice, so you can't over tighten it. Uh, once you turn it down, and then you're going to hear the clicks, that's how you know it's nice and tight, uh, or as tight as it can be. We did mention the parking brake. Right here is your parking brake. Uh, as this sticker states, what you want to do is push into the center and then down to release it. It sits on a metal stud, so if you were to just try and push straight down, it's not going anywhere. In and down, that'll easily release the parking brake. Uh, belt covers. You have four 3 8 bolts uh, that hold the belt covers on. Four bolts per cover, one cover on each side. That will allow you to remove the cover if you want to get any debris out there. They do leave a hole down here in the bottom that you can try and get your leaf blower down in there or air gun and uh, blow, some, blow some air through there. I also got your foot pedal. That way you can step on the deck. On the Titan series, they are suspended by chains. So this is a heavy-duty mower, so you can step on the deck and be okay. So it is intended for you to step on it. All right, guys, that is the Toro... Titan 60 inch with the MyRide feature. Thanks for watching.